Hey guys, this is Caspi with Dave, and today you join me for episode 26 of Fall of Kerbin. And, uh, yes, Cathenia's Valley has fallen. Last turn, the Corollans struck a decisive and devastating blow, leveraging their massive air superiority to uh, lay waste to our ground forces and our air force at Cathenia's Valley. Our forces fought hard. There was a long dogfight. Our rocket interceptor went out with some style. Actually, I think it went out when it was shot down on landing, but it went fast first. But yeah, and then our air defenses were many but overwhelmed by the massive numbers of the uh, enemy pilots and aircraft. It was rather ridiculous. So yes, uh, all of our tanks were destroyed without uh, the enemy tanks having to fire a shot. Uh, they were all strafed out um, by jets and conventional fighters and uh, Cathenia's Valley fell without much fight after that. So we have been pushed back pretty hard and there is a massive tank force here, and a pretty decent air force, and some pretty serious AA defense. Cathenia's Valley has fallen, um, so we're falling back, because there's no point me trying to take this. People constantly tell me not to waste my air forces, and I'm finally uh, taking that into account, because I could go and bomb out some tanks, but there's no chance of me actually taking back Cathenia's Valley this turn. There's just too much there. There's just, there's, there's just, there's, there's fighters and air defenses and there's nothing I can do. So, we're falling back to our capital city. Here we are at Cathenius Heart, our main base and capital city. A gigantic city where we are laying down the defenses for our last stand. We have six fighters here, five new, one managed to escape the attack on Cathenia's Valley. Um, these are on the giant runway forward of the city, so when the uh, enemy attack comes, they'll be able to take off, get behind the enemies um, before they even get near the city, so that should be fairly useful. These are, of course, the S6F um, S6F Sparrows, which are incredibly effective fighters. They're very maneuverable. They're packing 30mm cannons. They're not the fastest of planes, but they truly are good dogfighters. And uh, yeah, hopefully these will be uh, a better use of my resources. Um, I think we lost Cathenia's Valley, as Penguin pointed out, because I went in for a pointless attack. Which, if it had worked, would have been good, but uh, yeah, those extra two fighters would have been nice. So I'm not making the same mistake again. I am digging in, although digging in at the last city is a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit, a little bit... Looking like it's not going to go so well for Cathenia right now. We've been really pushed back, but we will not give up without a fight. We have developed ourselves some new weapons. These are the TD-3 Sirens. They are a new tank destroyer. They are much cheaper than the TD-2 Cyclopses, which uses a, which use 128mm guns and have heavy hulls. These use 88mm tank destroyer guns and have medium hulls, meaning that I can launch four of these per turn and some more little things, usually probably just AA defenses. The 88mm is more than enough to go through anything except super heavy armor. But if a super heavy tank rolls into our city, we're going to shoot it in the side. Because that's a nice thing about um, uh, defending a city, is you always catch things in the side, because that's when they see you first. So these should be able to destroy anything. They will eviscerate light tanks. Um, I developed these on a live stream, and they shot one of my light tanks, and it was gone. There was no tank left. These should do a fantastic job and make it just impossible to get anywhere near our city. We will be deploying other tanks, of course, to uh, have a little bit of, um, you know, a few options, you know, <laughs> so there's some uh, variance in the city. This is a massive city. It's four times bigger than any other city, so it could be a very long fight spanning many turns, but there will indeed be a final battle here. The Corollans will march in, and we will try to bomb out some of their tanks, but it will be pretty intense. Um, so yes, we will be deploying many a tank and many an air defense uh, as well. So with our extra two points of uh, tank deployment, we've also uh, deployed ourselves a 20mm mobile gun to help stop uh, our tanks getting strafed as they were so mercilessly before, um, although dive bombing's the real problem in cities, but this will also help with that. But also, because this is my main base and my capital city, from the start of uh, the series, I've had five emplacements here. These are G-Bag Titans. They are 40mm guns, and they have eight barrels. Yes, they are quite 
they are quite impressive and they're quite nice. I have five of them, um, and they're deployed around the city now, um, and some of them in the streets, fighting them in the streets, some of them outside, shooting things as they come in. So we're already pretty well dug in here, and we will only get more dug in. Next turn, we may even get ourselves some supply units so we could build some anti-tank emplacements, which would be pretty good, because that's basically just a tank destroyer. So yes, this is our city, our capital city, our last stand. It's gotten a bit, a bit sort of, you know, end of the war looking-y because uh, we lost so, just, so devastatingly at Cathenius Valley. But hey, we still have our capital city. We may even get some more supply units from Altamar. We've got a hell of a lot of, we're going to have a hell of a lot of tanks in here. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be hell to get through this. I'm thinking it might not even get done in one turn. <laughs> the final battles will be immense. Um, and I hope you will, uh, hope you're looking forward to them, and, uh, yeah, hope, uh, yeah, we can come back from this, it'll be, <laughs> yeah. oh, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna go find myself a bunker, I hope you've enjoyed this, I know it's been a shorter episode, because, you know, I haven't been attacking, I've just been digging in, you know, eyeing up my gun in my bunker, <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this nonetheless, and uh, uh, the next few tones will be very action-packed, even if this one wasn't. But yes, this has been episode 26 of Fall of Kerbin. I will see you next time.